All right, so another automation on yellow pages so that we can go through how we're gonna handle pagination. So if I open, the, I know this is opening the recording window, but I'm gonna open up yellow pages in normal Chrome really quick so we can walk through how we're gonna build this automation. So ignore the recording for now. Uh, just in a normal Chrome browser, I'm just gonna walk you through what we're doing. We're gonna search something in some city, and then we wanna scrape all of these results. We wanna scrape the name and the website which is if we click this, we'll see the website that it's taking them to, um, or at least the Yellow Pages site. We wanna scrape the name and that URL. Then what we wanna do is we wanna click the next button so that we can load more pages of results. Now, one important thing here, the reason we don't wanna use the scroll down step, or at least it's not necessary, it's not gonna hurt your automation if you do, it's just not helping it, is because all of these results have already loaded on the website, even without us having to scroll down. Something like LinkedIn or Google Images, where you have to scroll down to load more results, that's where you need to make sure you use that scroll down step so that you ex you get the amount of results you expect and it handles loading for however long you want to scroll. So that's the automation we're going to build. I'll go back into the recorder. So this is in that Chromium window. I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, yellowpages.com, save this step. And then I'm gonna record a, oops, let's reset that. I'm gonna record a type step and let's record plumbing and confirm that. And then we're gonna record another type step of the city, it already captured it. So I'll just click confirm, then record another click of the find button, confirm this. And then I'll go ahead and do that click in the browser then when this site loads, we can click scrape list and I can click D&D plumbing and then savage and sun. Now what's important we'll see is that this is highlighting everything that it found as a match in purple. So we'll notice if we scroll down that it stops matching things as soon as the ad stops. And this is because the website's slightly different when the list resumes at this point. So what we want to do is, is we want to make sure we keep clicking so that we can build the rest of that list out. So I'll click right here and then I'll click right here and we're going to see that now it's highlighting the rest of the results and the previous ones in the ad. So that's what we need to do. We'll click confirm. That'll show us that it found 38 results and I'm going to want to get both of these. I want both the name of the company that was scraped as well as the link. So I'll click I want both and that's going to add those two steps to my automation. Then what we can do is click add step and then we're going to record a click step on this next button down here. And the reason for this is we're going to use a looping automation so that it's going to go do all these steps and after it scrapes, it's going to click the next button so that it loads the next page of results. Um, after this next button, let's actually add a delay so that it has a couple seconds to load whatever results uh, are there. I'll go ahead and click I'm done and then set up trigger loop. And then I don't need Google Sheets in this one. It's just, we just want a looping automation that's loading all of those page results. So we'll say that we want, I guess, three pages of results. Um, the trigger doesn't really matter right now. What does matter is making sure our loop starts from the right point. So what we want to happen is we want it to go to yellow pages, uh, search something, and then we want to scrape these click the next button and then scrape again. What that means is that our loop is going to start from step five. The reason is, is because we want to go to yellow pages, type something, type something, click find, scrape this, scrape this, click the next button. And then we want to restart from the step five right here. Or sorry, we have our delay also. Then we want to restart from step five so that every time it clicks the new page, it clicks and loads the new results and scrapes those. So I'll go ahead and set this to step five. And when we run this, it's, it'll go to yellow pages, click plumbing, type sparks, or sorry, type plumbing, type sparks, click find, scrape some stuff, click the next button, wait a couple seconds, and then restart from step five. And it's gonna do that three times. If I wanna make this do it five times, I change this to five and so on. So if I click play steps, I'm gonna go ahead and pause while this takes a second to run but I'll show you at least how it's gonna enter the loop.
So again, and this is really helpful for things like the Instagram DM automations, LinkedIn automations. We don't want to repeat the login steps every single time. We want to loop and then we want to restart from a certain point. That way we don't restart all of our progress that we already made logging into the site. So once this clicks find, we're going to see it scrape and then it'll scroll down and click the next button. Now, the reason again, we don't need to use the scroll down step is because that button is going to exist no matter what. So it just clicked that next button. It's going to go ahead and scrape those results. I think it's on a delay right now. We can see that it got 38 results both times that it scraped. This is getting the text. This is getting the URLs. And that is that. So it'll continue going through these. I think I set it to three. And then we will see all of that output in these logs here. So that's the automation. That's how we handle pagination. Um, looking forward to seeing how you guys handle that. One other way that you can do this is because Yellow Pages uses the Chevron, if they use like some text that says next page or something, we can also click the three dots here, advanced settings, and then use something like next page to always find that next button. Since sometimes that might change on certain sites. But hopefully this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions uh, in the comments below.